All right, here we go. First box is, I think I weighed it in at uh, 17 pounds. This one is from Phase One Comics and Games, uh, based in Texas. And I think they, uh, I think they were having like a closeout sale or a blowout sale, some, some, something like that, where they just had old pirate stuff they were selling that they, that they had for cheap. So this is so heavy, it's like hard to maneuver it for cutting the box, cutting the tape, and getting the box open. So might be kind of a long. A little bit of a long video, probably. So, especially because I haven't, actually haven't taken these apart at all, so it's going to be, might as well make it a true unboxing video and just see, see how things go here. And I, I, I didn't buy out everything they had, so I remember checking their site a little while ago and they, they still had stuff left. So. try to show as much on camera as possible. I got a cheap tripod, so hopefully I'll be able to see it. Oh boy, here we go. This looks like a... Oh yeah, this is this is a paper version of the spreadsheet I sent them. Because the order was so big, or the stock was so old, one of the two, that they actually... I had to message them on Facebook about how their cart was crashing. I, I don't know if it was... It probably wasn't the size of the order. They probably get a lot of big orders. It may have just been... They said it was like how old the stock was or they may not have had some of it. Um, this, this should be almost all the stuff I wanted from them. But I'd like to say, I'd like to think that my order was so big that it crashed their site. I broke their cart. But <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's see how this is packaged. This is very exciting. This is from... This. So today is like September 18th. Um, it was the same day I met up with uh, Tiffany O'Brien, actually. This is later that night, same day. But this order is from, like, November 2020. So that's how old this is. And this looks really nicely packaged in these sleeves here. Oh, you can see it's like Attack of the Clones with the army just coming out. I don't even know how to, like, take this out. It's all collapsing now. So, yeah, it's all gonna... This is gonna be a mess. This is unreal. I'm just gonna try to stack it up, I guess. Yeah, this is gonna get just completely, completely out of control. Stuff might fall on the floor. I don't know if I can even really like manage it. Um, Cause the, okay, this looks a little bit better. But it might still fall. I think I'll try to keep it like, like vertical like this for now in these like sleeves. So phase one, try not to accidentally show addresses and have to blot them out like I did in the previous video. Um, oh, that was the older one. Okay. Got a random card sleeve that uh, popped out. Alright, so I'll put that over there. All that stuff there. Oh my god. This is insane. All you see an executioner. <laughs> well, spoiler. Um, I gotta take a peek down here at the box. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Oh, this is a nice, this is a nice stack. This is nicely put together there. That's going to stay. Looks like you can see the just absolute like walls of cards I'm pulling out here. So this is not, this is a medium flat rate box, which is not a huge box, but it is chock full. Like I don't, they couldn't have fit many more cards in the box. It was like com completely full. Well, a bunch of Spanish main just slid slid out from the side. I don't know if I can even... This might be the only video I make tonight because of just how massive it is. I think there's like seven or 800 game pieces that are supposed to be... Um, they're supposed to be in this. So... This is just... This is insane. So I'm trying not to make too much of a mess of what's coming out right now. There's like a bunch of Spanish ships. There's a Fortaleza Dorada. Uh, Alright, let's see. So I'm still not done taking stuff out. Got stuff in bubble wrap there. And that looks like the last stack. Well, there might be two more stacks. Alright, let's 
see what we got here. There's that. There's that. Oh, yep, there's another one. Oh my god. Okay, that looks like it's it. Ah. Yeah. So that's it. Let's see inside there. Nothing else in this medium flat rate. So put that in there for now. Hopefully, I think this, this little table is probably going to be too small. Hopefully, too small for some of these slots. It should be big enough for this one, so that's a good start. All right, so I think I'll try to do it in set chronological order. I'm just going to basically go through it as fast as possible um, in the interest of time. Uh, <laughs> all right, I didn't even know I got them. Oh, I see. Some stuff fell out. Oh, I think I see where that came from. Oh, no, never mind. Wait on. I'm just trying to sort through it here and see where some of these piles start and end, basically, but I don't know if I'll be able to figure that out. Um, yeah. So I got Spanish Main, Crimson Coast. One of the things I liked about their site was that they had a lot of the early sets. They had a concentration of stuff from, like, the first four sets, which are some of the best. Um, this looks like an entire stack of Crimson, uh, of, uh, Barbary Coast. Look at this. This is unreal. And then I'll make sure, I gotta try to remember to take pictures after I'm done with the unboxing as well. So I'll try to keep as much in the frame as possible. It's gonna get kind of random. So this looks like RV and South China Seas and maybe other stuff. So I'll put that there. Massive towers won't fall over. Okay, this one starts with Frozen North, ends with Mysterious Islands, so it's kind of out of order, but that's fine. I'll just uh, unpack that later. Well, that one's, those are kind of mid game sets, so I'll put those off to the side there. And then, this is exciting. I love Crimson Coast. This is exciting. This looks like mostly Crimson. That one's already falling apart here. Looks like this will be the start. There's a little bit of Mysterious Island, so that's fine. I'll just sort it by set as I open things. So Mysterious Islands, and then this looks like the rest, the end of Crimson, the beginning of Revolution, so that's good. Uh-oh, stuff almost just fell. Alright, so I'm trying to, trying to manage the tower. <laughs> I'm trying to manage the towers. So, looks like we've got, like, Six, like, mega stacks that probably measure a good, good eight to ten inches off the table, along with, like, two or three smaller stacks right now. All right, so I think I'm just going to start going through it. Yeah, so you already saw these two. So this is, makes it pretty obvious already, and I think I've already admitted this on the forum somewhere, but I am basically a hoarder now, as you can see. So I just... I'm just buying and buying and buying. Now I'm done for now. But there was a serious spending spree, mostly when I was on deployment, ironically, and couldn't receive any of this stuff. So I just shipped it to my dad's house in New York. And when I was on leave in New York in September, I repackaged it and relabeled it and shipped it all to Washington, where I am now. So now I can finally unbox the huge hoard that was slowly, steadily accumulating in New York when I was unavailable. So, so there's different reasons um, I've become a hoarder. Um, more money, but also just wanting more stuff. And also, I think, I think I would admit that sometimes on deployment it was like fun. It was like one of the only fun things I had on some of those days was to, was to buy pirate stuff. Um, so, but also, it's kind of a, it's also kind of a dream come true, because I've always, I've kind of, I'm always, I'm always a player first and collector second, but I've kind of envied the hoarders for their just mass quantities of stock they have, um, for a ton of reasons. So I'm still in my 20s, and I, I hope to survive to be able to play this game deep into, like, either retirement or just, or just for decades on end in general. So I'm hoping to actually use a lot of these ships 
in various ways, whether they replace older ships that have broken or have just worn out from too much play, and or use them as duplicates or proxies under different rules where duplicates are allowed, things like that, in games so massive that like a full collection can't even do it justice. Like We're talking bigger than Command the Oceans in 2017, which saw over 500 ships in play at its peak. So, so there's a lot of reasons for it. And uh, I do, that being said though, I do plan to make a comprehensive, um, it's kind of intimidating to say this, but I, I do plan to make a, a haves and wants list, a new one basically, or at least a new haves list, because my collection is split now. Um, my original collection and my punched collection is in New York, and then I have all this, all sorts of crazy new stuff in Washington, most of which is unpunched or in packs and things like that. So, so the wants list will be pretty much the same old wants list. Uh, I mostly have like LEs left and promos and stuff like that. But then my haves list, I'll revamp and get a totally new one, which is going to be pretty large. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure how much I'll exclude based on what I want as like backups for myself. Because as I continue to hoard the idea of having a an unpunched collection of eventually one of everything or one of most things is appealing as I continue to play and uh, continue to buy and hoard. So, <laughs> all right. I think that's enough talk. This is obviously Mysterious Island, so I'm going to set that aside for later. And I'm just going to get into the Spanish main stuff finally. I sit it collapses. Um, all right. So I'll sort by set, and I'll sort um, like partially by faction or something like that. Actually, normally I sort by faction. That's how I want to do the house once, maybe. Well, I'll probably keep it by set for now, I guess. Maybe, I'm not sure yet. Normally I do faction, then mass count, then set, and then ship type, basically, but... I don't know if I'll maintain that with this stuff. So, alrighty. Without further ado, it's time to start getting into it. So I thought I was going to sit down. I might just stand for most of the video. So, all right. H. Miss Plantagenet. H. Miss Plantagenet. H. Miss. <laughs> so three of that one. So it looks like so this is original Spanish Main, which is kind of nice. So it's a lot easier to find the unlimited packs nowadays than the limited or like the original few print runs. So anyway, so ES014 instead of whatever number HMS Wyclub is. So it looks like two of those HMS Mearsman times four, looks like. HMS Birkenhead times two. HMS Galglass times four. <laughs> I'm just going to pause until, they, until it runs out. HMS Bolingbroke, HMS King Edward, HMS Oxley, HMS Albion, a rare. I didn't buy too many rares. I was mostly just going for mass quantity with this and some of the other purchases. But but they actually had, Phase 1 Comics and Games had some rares for only like 1 to 3 bucks each, so I snatched some of those up. There's a few 5 Masters in here too, I think, that, uh, that I went ahead and bought. Some of them were like 675. They weren't like crazy deals, but I just wanted more. So, so I'll ballast uh, so one, two of those, Windjammer, Windjammer, Freedom, Freedom, Sea Nymph, Pandora, Shadow, Zephyr. So this is a rare, oh, okay, so now we've got, yeah, we, we're getting into some Spanish Main Unlimited. So you see 004 with the yellow corner, regular rarity, Zephyr, got a snipe from the and the other version, Revenge promo, not wrapped actually, which is interesting. So an unwrapped promo Revenge, PP three seventy six. My regular copy of this one is wrapped, so it's kind of interesting. It's fine with me. Uh, Kenny's Road Rampage. So I got a crew randomly. I think I'm gonna separate crew right now. Even if yeah, this is. I think I'll just organize this on my own time. It's gonna take too long otherwise. Um. Stuff like this is interesting. This is weird. I'm not sure if this is them 
matching cards randomly or what. This is unique because I don't I don't think I, I don't know I don't think I've seen this before. So basically, here you have a faded first like first print run Spanish main card, and then here this is like the more glossy, less faded, um, not first print run but still first edition. So, so I don't think these are from the same pack. I I doubt it. Doesn't really make much sense, but anyway, that's fine. So yeah, Lord Walpole. That was actually my first ship I pulled from a pack from a Spanish main unlimited pack. Um, or no, not or yeah, first English ship. I don't know if I said first ship. First ships were uh, Repulsa and Asesino de la Nave, and first English were Lord Walpole and Birkenhead. So, so it's like four of the Lord Walpole, another Plantagenet. <laughs> um, that first card I looked at actually, this Plantagenet is kind of a little bit of a miscut. It's like pretty high up here. You can see the, the cut of the card is edging into the point cost box. So I don't really have many like that. So it's actually kind of cool. Put those piles over there. I need to make tall piles to not run out of space on the table here. Probably have to split this one in half. So Muerta times four. El Dorado, two of those. Karen Crow, Greyhound, times four. <laughs> El Chico. Looks like it continues. More El Chico. Two, three, four. Longshanks. One, two. Treachery. Two, three, four. Recreant. Really good ship, actually. One, two, three. So, nice stack there. And then... Do the UT last, especially because I see some Spanish stuff is a little confusing because it got moved around in the shipment. So El Leon, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. El Leon, <laughs> pretty good ship too. Rank two cannons, reasonable ability. Nothing too crazy, but solid. El Picador, Corazon del Mar. See where we end up here. Yeah. Corazon Del Mar again. Okay, so this is where it gets mismatched. I don't want to hold up the video I'm trying to figure this out, so I'm just kind of. These are both Piscados. Oh, okay. Here's a Piscados deck plate. Piscados de Plata. So I was going to make sure if something's not finished, just to put it to the side. So hopefully I didn't miss any. Other cards. This is Assassino. Yeah. Alright, so those three are kind of random right now. Duke, Furia, Pescados. Okay, yeah, this is getting really random. Alright, Furia, two out of two right there. Pescados, Corazon. Okay, so I found a Corazon, two out of two to go with the regular. Corazon, 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 Corazon. Pescados, 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 Pescados. Aguila. Wow. Okay. Let's see here. Now I'm going to forget which pile I've, I've already looked at. I think we saw this. Oh, no. No, here we go. Assassino. Assassino de la Nove. Or Furia. Oh, boy. All right. This is Spanish. This is a little much. All right. The Spanish stuff is just random, so I'm not going to. Spend more time on Duque. Looks like Aguila there. La Repulsa times two. A couple rare one masters. El Garante. I think this was like six six dollars seventy five cents. I think, I believe so. So, good old Man of War there. Santa Teresa. Ooh, El Corazado. I may have paid this one. May have been more. I don't know. Even if I paid like ten bucks for this one, I, I'd say it's. Definitely worth it. So, I wouldn't. I mean, I don't know. If I was just getting in the game, I would. I would spend like twenty, thirty on this ship. It's one of the best. Uh, one of the best. So, yeah, I've certainly covered why extensively in battle reports and things like that. So, leave those crew for later. Silver dagger times four. Venture, Batavian bat times four. Bonnie Kate times four. Nice. 
Alrighty. So, let's see. Just kind of keep the Spanish stuff together to some extent here. This is ridiculous. I think we're almost done with Spanish main, finally. Fernando Sanchez and Comandante Luis de Alba. These are rare, actually. Uh, and then, made sure to pick up some UTs, too. I think some of these were cheap and some of them were, like, average. I don't, I don't remember exactly, but... So, two forged papers, rum, Marston's map, shipping charts, mix of unlimited and... Yeah, the forged papers, basically, the unlimited, so... Nice. Alrighty. So that takes care of Spanish Main, I think. <coughs> At least so far. And then, now he moves into Crimson Coast. So the treasure times four, looks like. Cassandra, Possession times two. Very nice. The Possession was one of my first French ships. So, it's always fun to see that one. It's like this should be the next stack here. Just gonna swap the positioning a little bit. Hopefully it'll come back into focus. Maybe that'll help. All right, Saint Michel. I don't know how to pronounce the French ship names at all. So, so three, four, Castillo de del Infanta, Spanish fort, Urbano Javier. Augustine Covas, looks like four of those crew for twofers, Inquisitor Sebastian Blanco. Some of these I just have this many copies of because they were like 25 cents each or something. So, El San Salvador, nice ship, three of those. Montanez, two, three, four. Bahama, two, three. Trinidad, El Rayo. Grab the next stack. Matthias Vespero, Forbes Biati, times three. Lady Provost, three, four. Very nice. Four of Lady Provost. That's good. Hopefully, he'll make decent uh, trade bait. Hitchman's Gibraltar, Hitchman's Alexander, times two. Cumberland, two, three, four. Sultan, two, three, four. Lenatin, or however you pronounce it, times three, it looks like. I do like how these are packaged. I like this little, like a plastic wrap. I kind of like, I like doing it that way. We kept them together decently well in the box after a good eight months. That's not bad. Agents Ajax, Bloody Jake with Maurice Aristide. Very good uh, card actually, just because of Aristide. But yeah, Jack Hawkins times two. One of the better common crew in the game, really. Scepter, ooh, some nice nice stuff here. Scepter and Fancy. A couple of rare sloops for the pirates. Raven, two, three, four. Bonnie Liz, two. Charles, four. Duke, two, three, four. Five, the Duke. Adventure times two. <coughs> the Triton, two, three, Four, Orient, two, two, Province two, Cleopatra, looks like three. And we're coming up to the end of Crimson Coast now, it looks like. Slowly, but surely. Do, let me do the ships next. You can see some crew and UTs coming. Mercure, two. Zone, Intrepide, two of the Intrepide, one of the better gold runners in the whole game. And we got Duels de Sissy. Ooh, this is, this is a good trade bait for players, at least. The French ZOLR plus five, and then four copies of the Cancellor Lenoir. So, very nice. Cloud Perrier, not as good, but whatever. Trees, and we got Trees and Buried Treasure. Couple of UTs here, of course. Okay, that looks good. Now we'll get into Revolution. You already saw these two. They were just kind of randomly out there. Right. I don't really know how to 
grab this stuff, so this is just this is insane. So going through like I think it is I don't know, it's like over well over seven hundred and fifty game pieces, I think. Lady about East times two. John Laflight times two. Don Pedro Gilbert. Devereaux, however the hell you pronounce it, times four. Lightning. Banshees Cry. Coral. 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 Cor oh my god. I thought I had three of those. Alright, four of the coral. So six rare one masters in total. Very nice. Classic ships here too. This is such a classic set. Cutlass, Tiger times four, Bloody Jewel times two, Hades Flame, two, three, four, Curse Blade times two, but it looks like there's more coming. Three, four, five of the Curse Blade. One of my favorite ships, actually, one of my original pirate ships. Pride, two, three, four, five, Golden Medusa. Times four. Holy shit. That's one of the better ships. That's what sell speed on a four masted schooner with good cannons and a good ability. Yeah, four of the Golden Medusa. That's nice right there. God damn. This is out of control. Oh my god. Can't even sort this. Oh my god. All right. Patch, three of the patch, three more of Baptiste. That brings her up to like four or five. Um, not really good. I'm just going to organize it after. This is chaos. So now it's upside down. We've got HMS Oxford. Another really good four-masted schooner. Uh, let's see. Holy crap. Yeah, we're in English now for the most part. I'm trying to kind of... Flip stuff around a little bit. HMS Nautilus. Two, three, four, five. HMS Service. <laughs> two, three, four. HMS Apollo or Caldwell. Two, three, four, five. Algiers. Two, three, four. If you're wondering, this is, I think this is the most ridiculous lot in terms of duplicates and like sheer quantity. Um, I do have an unpunched lot from Matt L, which is like out of control, kind of like this one, but there's less, there's actually more rare stuff in that one and less like sheer duplicates. So it's not going to look quite like this, I don't think, but, uh, five of La Cazadora. This is, yeah, I partly did this one first on purpose just because it's that, it's just that ridiculous. So, all right, here we go. Spanish, here we go. Nice. One, two, three, four of La Santa Isabel. One of the best ships in the game, period. You could you could argue it's the top five ship, maybe. So definitely a good case could be made for it. Robinson. So Robin's Defoe times three. HMS Greyhound times two. Nice. See some rares among all commons and uncommons. Four Liza Dorada again. Diego Cesar Urbano, who is a rare, actually. All right. Get into the French. Le Leon. Two, three. Corjou. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is a really good chip, too, so this is going to be perfect for giving in new players. I think a lot of people are going to get this chip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they probably had, like, ten in stock or something, or maybe eight, and then I... I bought most of them, so Adelante, two, let's see what else, three, four, five, six, holy crap, six, <coughs> I thought five was going to be the most quantity for one jib, but not even close, so now we've seen a six and an eight, Bella Toile, this is a really good ship, I love this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, bayonet, bayonet, uh, two, three, four, five. Nice. Okay. So some real good stuff from Revolution. Actually, it's not done yet either. Holy crap. Let's see if I can make it through this video. Alright, let me... Let me just show you this 
stack. Almost need three hands to hold it. Another massive stack. So let's leave you tease. Yeah, I want to leave you tease the whole before the end. There's all that revolution left. DNT, a couple copies, Carl Smith, times two, Kikawa times two. Philadelphia, super fun ship. Oh, this is great. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Peacock, Hornet, times two, Hannah, times two, Rattlesnake. Only one Rattlesnake, actually, so far at least. Uh, three of Julius Caesar. I don't even know how to organize this now. As it continues to spiral out of control. Julius Caesar, two. Boston, 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 four, five, Carolina, two, Jarvis, two, three, Saratoga, times one, Curtis de la Mer, Louisiana, times two, Freedom, times two. Some real good American ships there. Oh, nice. All right. So this, this stack gets in a dude, I'm cursed. 